Now, all of these are analog definitions. They assume that we can put it in a calculator and type sine and cosine. But realistically, when we get data from eDrive, it's digital. So there's some alternative definitions. So the definition of active power is the mean of the voltage times the current. And actually, if we work that out, if we look at the mean, take the area under this, now remember when we take the area and we integrate, we've got to use integer numbers of the half cycle. So we can take it for half a cycle, one cycle, one and a half, but we can't do 1.01 of a cycle, otherwise part of that cycle is going to negate it. So it's got to be integers of the half cycle. But when we do that and we work it out, hey presto, we end up that our power comes out at ui over 2 cos phi, which is the same as our analytical definition. Now the apparent power we know in the digital world as the product of the RMSs. So how's that work? Well, if we look at that current here, this is a little mathematical trick. So if I calculate the RMS of this expression here, we notice that the term phi disappears and it just comes out at i as root 2. So now if we take the RMS of the current and the voltage together, when we multiply them, we get ui over 2, which is our standard analytical definition. And of course, from that we can work out the modulus of q, and that's going to be simply from the power triangle here. So you can see that all these digital definitions, which we probably learned right from high school actually, actually have an analytical definition associated.